Last season, we were very poor. But what happened? We slapped you twice. <laughs> you had Lampard, you had Tuchu. We slapped you. You understand? <laughs> so, all these things you guys are saying about Lukaku, this, Lukaku, that. There is a Juju. Do you know what Juju is? Juju is voodoo in English. In case you don't know. There's a Juju of Drogba on all your strikers. Welcome to the Blunt Pundit, where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Guys, I am back. And you know the drill. Let's get right into it. The biggest game this weekend was Arsenal versus Chelsea and a few Arsenal fans were actually thinking that Drogba's Juju was going to work on Lukaku. Let's take a look. Are you buying that from Adam? Are you buying the notion that oh, we're going to lose, I expect to lose? Do you expect a tough game from Arsenal on Sunday? You see Terry, this is about unfinished business. I don't want us to be legally adopted by Chelsea this Sunday. Minimum of six Gs and I want Lukaku, aka Luke Skywalker, aka Lucas the first to drop a three-piece on Arsenal, man. Minimum. Last season, we were very poor. But what happened? We slapped you twice. You had Lampard, you had Tuchel. We slapped you. You understand? So, all these things you guys are saying about Lukaku, this, Lukaku, that. There is a Juju. Do you know what Juju is? Juju is voodoo in English, in case you don't know. There's a Juju of Drogba on all your strikers. You're talking about Kesman, Crespo, you're talking about Torres and Vena. Lukaku is the next. Well, you can take your two wins. I'll take my trophy, bro. Oh. Listen, the car crew will take the spirit of drop by <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the juju didn't work, as you can see. Left a lot of Arsenal fans angry, including myself, because that was me in the video. In case you don't know, in case you can't recognize me, that was me. Oh my god, I'm gonna hold my head in shame. Listen, it's all banter at the end of the day. It's football, isn't it? But Lukaku left so many Arsenal fans angry. And not just Arsenal fans, he also left Inter Milan fans angry as well. <laughs> no, obviously, you know, a lot of people in, in Milano and Italy, they're, they're really mad. They're mad that he left and, and they were very upset and, and sad uh, because he brought them the, the championship, you know, the first time in 10 years, you know, and they thought now they are ready to go for the Champions League as well. And then came, there comes this uh, big, big transfer along and he's uh, going back to Chelsea. So um, he left some bad feelings there in Milano. Of course, there's been a lot of theories all over the media saying it's probably Ateta, maybe the squad. But listen, Shaka and Frank Lebov of ESPN feel that Arsenal do not have the squad depth. And that was the main reason. Take a look at this. At the very least, believe there should be. This is a squad that does not have a, a great starting eleven, has no real depth. And, and yes, I know there were players out through to injury and through illness for, for, for both weeks so far. But given the start you've had against Brentford, against a, a good Chelsea team, you've got City to come, and then you've got a couple of winnable games. At, at what point do things start to turn around? To consider that Arsenal can, cannot be in the first six spots of the, of, of, of the Premier League because they don't have the squad for that. Liverpool have won two games on the bounce with a clean sheet and Van Dijk is back and he's saying he's very positive. Is there anything to be positive about? What do you guys feel about this from Van Dijk? A clean sheet, a full house here at Anfield. Hey, How exactly are you feeling right now? Positive. <laughs> no, yeah, it feels good. It feels good to see everyone back. The atmosphere was outstanding. Um, you know, and, and to play, you know, Premier League football with the fans again is just something that should be normal again and uh, hopefully it's gonna be normal from now on um, so yeah we won early kickoff so it's nice to uh, to watch the rest of the weekend I know you I don't know whether there's something to be posted about in Liverpool especially when you consider the fact the likes of Chelsea and Liverpool have been buying the best of the best of the best players the likes of Lukaku Sancho etc and Liverpool did not really strengthen their squad with a lot of big names if you can imagine but listen this is Van Dijk we know he's done it before in the Premier League maybe that's why he's positive because he's back in the squad but talking about defenders there is a person right now in Liverpool his name is Simikas this guy is a left back and a lot of fantasy fans are gonna be excited about him he's kept two clean sheets he's had one assist already he's replaced Robertson who is out injured but guess what Jurgen Klopp says it's impossible to replace Robertson I'm thinking maybe this guy is gonna be fighting Robertson for that position but I don't know what you guys think but here is what Klopp feels about these guys um, and I hope he's doing well I can imagine that the left back uh, is interested in the situation of left backs 
So look, in the last few years we always had really often the problem that it was quite tricky to, to replace Robo and I would say it's actually not really possible because Robo is an is a world class player, an incredible player. It's like the full package, it's the defender and the attacker you wish for that position, it's a, it's a leader in the team and all this kind of stuff. It's just great to have them both um, and yeah, um, for, a, for a manager you have, it's a problem when, when you don't have a left back, when you have two, that's no problem. I totally agree with Jürgen Klopp there. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to having those two in my sides. And maybe a squad rotation because let's be honest, Robertson plays almost every single game every season. He needs a break, especially when he has someone like Simikas as good as he is. Moving on to Manchester City. Manchester City took out the frustration of the first loss against Tottenham on Norwich scoring five goals. And when Igrips feels, Grealish is the main man. Do you guys think he's the Messiah? Have a look at this. Well, I think the good thing is, you know, all the players are looking forward to getting the ball into Jack Grealish. You know, you think about it, Jack, he's, he's been the main man at Aston Villa and everybody's got the ball, but even the City players are looking to get it into him. So, shows they believe in him, he must be training great. Technically, he's a really special player, so I think he's going to fit right in. It's just the question is when De Bruyne is back, you know, when Phil Foden is back, when, when all those other players are back in, where, where is his natural position going to be? Is it going to be off the left or is it going to be uh, on the other side? That's a fair point, but guess what? Michael Owen feels he slows the game down a bit. I don't know which of the Owens you're going to agree with, but just have a look at these people. Compared to what they've got, yeah. He's a ball carrier. Man City like doing things quickly. They don't want free kicks in the opposite. They're not like a Burnley or a Crystal Palace or someone like that. If they get a free kick, it's like, quick, let's get the ball playing again. Yeah. You know, him winning free kicks and, and slowing the game down isn't what Manchester City wants. So he'll have to adapt slightly as well. He will, because he's a very good player. He's, you know, got great touch, he can beat players. But he might have to speed his game up a little bit if he's going to really fit into this Manchester City team. It'll be it was carnage in the game between Nice and Marcel as Nice fans were throwing objects at Dimitri Payet and Hall hell broke loose. There were a lot of fans on the football field, there was a lot of punching here and there, especially this one where a coach knocked out one of the fans. I say that is disgraceful as far as I'm concerned because that is nothing to write home about that behavior and the need to be sanctioned in my opinion. The last segment, who is going to get egg faced for the day? Who is the egg face of the day? Here are my nominations. What oh, happened? We slapped you twice. You had Lampard, you had Tuchel, we slapped you. Drum rolls! This is my egg face of the day, people. What oh, happened? We slapped you twice. You had Lampard, you had Tuchel, we slapped you. Oh my god, I am so freaking embarrassed right now, but listen, like I said before, it is what it is. It's your boy here, the Blum Pony lovers, be lovers, haters, be haters. Make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe as well. Take care, people. I'm out of here. Cheers. Hello, guys. I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.